The movement toward reforming student discipline has led to the implementation of Senate Bill 100. Naperville News 17's Rachel Pearson has more on how District 204 is integrating the new requirements. In 2012, a student group, the Voices of Youth in Chicago, noted that students were missing a significant amount of instructional time as a result of out-of-school suspensions and expulsions. That led to Senate Bill 100 being signed into law in August of 2015. The new legislation made out-of-school suspensions and expulsions only feasible if all other disciplinary measures have been exhausted. They can include activities uh, that you would provide through our regular uh, education curriculum, uh, SEL, health, character ed, uh, classroom management, assemblies, in schools, detentions, all of those are just a small example. Any out-of-school suspension lasting more than four days must include a written statement of disciplinary actions that have already been exhausted. And suspensions between five and ten days must provide a statement of available support services. Every student must be afforded the opportunity for makeup work. Uh, if they're suspended in any of those three categories of suspensions, they also all must have a re-engagement plan upon returning back to the school. The purpose of the law is to eliminate a zero tolerance approach to consequences and instead look at each instance on an individual basis, a practice District 204 already has in place. We have always tried to look at our, our discipline on a case by case basis. We will have to make some subtle changes at the middle school and high school to make sure that we're in full compliance with that. But again, we have always looked at student discipline on a case by case basis. The law aims to shift schools from a punitive to restorative system and will be effective in September of this year. Reporting for Naperville News 17, I'm Rachel Pearson. The school board is still the governing authority for expulsions, which can last up to two years.